All right, lesson, uh, unit one, lesson three, dilations. This was about comprehending skill factor, center of dilation, and what the heck a dilation is. So dilation is either shrinking or enlarging an object. So this guy is not a dilation. He vertically smashed the hippo. So these guys are a dilation of each other. You could say we shrunk him to get this guy, or you could say we enlarged this one to get this one, okay? And you got to do it one point at a time. So to do these guys, it would be very tedious, right? You could freehand it, though, for sure. So this is a definition. In fact, let me jump to the page that has the picture. So um, here is the description of what a dilation is. And I have a picture here. So you might want to pause the video, write down the little description, and then I'll put this picture together for you. So the picture says, the picture in this statement says, you have a center, you have a dilation. If you have a center, so O is the center, and it can be any point. So this is my center, O. The positive scale factor, R. And it's going to take a point P, so this is my point. It's going to take it uh, along a ray. So when we were doing this today and even last on Friday last week, we draw a ray. Whatever point you want to dilate, so I'm going to dilate P, you draw a ray through the point you want to dilate, and then you measure how far is that point from the center. So in this case, I have it all figured out for us. He is 45 units from the center. So if I want to dilate this guy, it's going to be the point of di the point that gets copied or dilated is going to be twice the distance from the center. So P prime is 90 units from the center because I doubled the distance from the center. You can also reduce it. So here's another one where it's the same point. Oops, it's the same point. And so he's still 45 units from the center. So you can pause this video and copy this down because now I'm telling you I got a scale factor of R. I'm sorry, I had a scale factor where R is a half. So the same point, 45 units from the center, cut that distance in half. The image is now 22 and a half from the center. All right. And so we did this today with our triangles. And we're going to keep doing it. We're not going to just do points. We're going to do at least three points. But we got to start small, and it's just one point. And I think it might make more sense when we actually do figures and not just the points, but that's the definition, so I have to tell you that. So here's an example. I'll write this down, and I just put it on a piece of paper so that we could do the same thing. I'm going to use the, the lines as my um, guide for measuring. So I'm going to draw that ray, right? You need the ray. So here is my ray. C is the center, it says in this example. C is the center. So you want to draw a ray going through the center and the point you want to dilate. And I'm going to use a scale factor of 3. So this guy is 2 units from this, uh, the, the point I'm dilating. H is the point that I'm going to dilate. It's 2 units from the center. So to get H prime, I want to do it 3 times. So there's 1, 2, Three. So point H is right there, or H prime. Okay. So H prime is three times the distance from the center as H is. H prime is three times the distance from the center as H is. All right. So here's an example. It says Pentagon M is a scaled copy of Pentagon N. So he's the original figure. Can I spell original? Yes, I can. And he's the image. So what is the value of A? Well, you got to go with first finding the scale factor, and they ask what the scale factor is second because they know that you needed it but they're trying to see if you realize what you need to actually answer the, the question. So I kind of wanted this find the scale factor to be first, but they ask it second 
So I think it's testing to see if you know what you need to answer this question. You need the scale factor. So I'm going to use two pieces that I know. I know 5 and 2 correspond. So I say, what did we multiply 5 by? So it's called a scale factor. You could call it R if you want, like we did above. What did it get multiplied by to get 2? So the scale factor is equal to 2 over 5. Okay. All right. So A would be 8 times 2 over 5, and that equals 16 over 5. So A is 16 over 5, and the scale factor would be 2 over 5. Okay? All right. Not that pretty. For some reason, I feel like I'm messing this up. Uh, so that was it. I thought, we, yeah, we did a little bit more. So I'm going to keep going. This is my January 6th notes, a little bit edited. Make sure you write this at the bottom of page 312. It says, I can dilate a figure given a scale factor. I didn't really dilate a figure in uh, lesson one, but they're thinking we can. Because if we can dilate a point, just a point, then we can dilate a bunch of points. And they're not going to get too crazy. It's just going to be triangles, and we've been doing that. Uh, this one was not us literally dilating anything. This was already done for us, so we didn't have to find the center. So this was the assignment for that piece of the notes. And now I'm going to continue dilations, and I'm going to comprehend. So write this down if you didn't take notes, or you're missing something, or you don't understand something. This piece was comprehending that corresponding lengths in the original figure and image are in the same proportion. Okay. All right. And I was thinking it would be helpful if you had a piece of paper, like an index card or the junk mail, and you could use that instead of a ruler. All right. So you don't have to write this down. This is me just re-emphasizing, you know, we, we get a little repetitive with these standards today, but that's the point. It's so you, if you see it enough times, you're going to remember it, and then you're going to be a grandma or a grandpa, and you're going to be teaching your children talking, maybe not teaching them, but talking to them about this math you learned. Wouldn't that be nice? So this is just a re -go going over what we just went over in lesson one, what a dilation is. Produces an image. It's the same shape as the original, but a different size. So it's going to stretch or shrink the original fi uh, figure. And the, the dilation, you need that center of dilation and the scale factor. So the center of dilation can also be inside the figure, and so we went to page 325 in our book, and we, we dilated this triangle. So now this one really is, because this one, this kind of is a little weird. Uh, if you're thinking it's weird, I think it's weird too. Because they said up here that I can dilate a figure, and I, I, I guess we are, we're just dilating points. But here is actually dilating a figure in less than three. So I'm on page 325. But again, these are all supposed to wrap around each other. So don't get too weirded out if sometimes it seems a little funny. And if it does seem funny, then you need to start asking more questions or digging for more problems that are going to help you state, state that statement, that statement being the learning target. So this uh, center is in the middle. And they want me to do a scale factor of three. So I just kind of eyeballed this one because I'm just doing it on my iPad. So I'm going to say that's three. Actually, you can do this. I think they might have it. Four, one, two, four, one, two, four. So that is going to be G prime. And then C, I'm sorry, F is going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's F prime, and then H, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just kind of using the marks to count, and that's uh, H prime. So now I've dilated a figure, but the point of the center of dilation, the point I used, as the center was sitting inside the figure. 
I always think those are the coolest. I think they're all kind of cool, but this one, I don't know, it's just kind of neat. All right. So, what do we say about similar polygons? This is definition. And I'm just kind of direct instructing right now. So you pause the video, write this down. Two polygons are similar if their vertices can be paired. So that corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are in proportion. So I have an example. So I, I need you to draw these. So pause the video if you need to write that. Draw these pentagons and let's talk about them. So the first thing I said was that corresponding angles are congruent. So do, 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 V is congruent to V prime, W is congruent to W prime, X is congruent to X prime, Y is congruent to Y prime, these are some ugly colors, Z is congruent to Z prime, okay? Then I also said, besides corresponding, uh, by, besides them being uh, angles being congruent, corresponding sides are in proportion. And I just did what was given: w x, w prime, x prime, w v, w prime, v prime. That's what's given. So I just used those. So 4 over 6 is to 2 over 3, and that's true because 4 over 6 does reduce to 2 over 3. So pause the video if you need to process that, write that down. I'm going to double check this in GeoGebra. And so in GeoGebra, we, we went, and I, I wanted you to open your books up to page 335. So go to page 335, go to the 4.1, I believe it's in Google Classroom. I'll double check when I'm done here. I, I know it is because I wanted you guys to attach this to Google Classroom. So um, these are the directions in your book. It says triangle ABC is a dilation. So this is what you're seeing on page 335. And this is a dilation of this guy. So we enlarged him and, and point P was the center. So we have Just to verify, these corresponding points are on this ray. Actually, I don't want to use green. I don't want to use that one either. Let's use yellow. And then I'll use a peachy color because it's so peachy. So these guys are all on a ray. The line that you I'm sorry, the point that you dilate will be on, its image will be on this ray. It'll be on the same ray. So we're going to go into GeoGebra. So let me get in there. Uh -huh. Going into GeoGebra 4.1. Show you, let's go right here. So, it was in my unit three, right here. So it's in Google Classroom, you can get to this link. And it says, uh, what do you think is true about angles A prime, B prime, C prime compared to angles A, B, C? I just told you in the notes, I just told you that they're congruent, right? I just told you if I have similar, if I know I have a dilation, then, uh, I know the angles are congruent and I know the sides are in proportion. I'm double checking this right now in GeoGebra. Let's double check in GeoGebra. So in GeoGebra, um, I'm going to check and I'm going to measure each angle. So measuring angle A or angle B, remember you got to go clockwise. So now I'll do, so I just did angle B prime, now I'm doing angle B. And I can't make these guys move, but I think you could agree that angle B 
does say 22.31 because I see the 2.31. So let's continue on. Let's do angle A. Whoops, pick up my angle tool. And he's 115.36. So A prime is 115.36. So is angle A. And now angle C. Angle C is 42.33. Angle C is 42.33. Angle C prime is 42.33. So that's good. It is true. And I could do this all day long, but I think you guys would get bored out of your mind watching me do it all day long with a bunch of triangles. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I got my wrong tool. I'm trying to move this up. I can't pick up my move tool. Okay, moved it up. There we go. Now I'm going to just make sure that my um, sides are in proportion. That's 428. That's 214. So I doubled these guys, by the way. And this guy is 287. So this guy should be twice that size. And he is double 287, and you do get 574. And then double, what's this? Why isn't it picking up my link? Okay, there we go. He is 121. So this guy is going to be 241. Right? So everybody is in proportion. Everybody got doubled, or you can say everybody got cut in half, but you would have to say everybody got doubled because it's A prime, B prime, C prime. That's the image. Image is what happened to the original. So it's true. So that was just verifying what I was direct instructing to you guys, that if I have similar figures, angles are, they're not changing and the sides are in proportion. Okay. So make sure you respond to these in your book. And then I did this and I don't think, what, how many minutes am I in? I'm 17 minutes in. I showed how to do this. I might do a separate video on because this was the check for understanding. So I think I'll make this a separate video. Um, and this was the assignment. Okay. By the way, this was not completed on Wednesday last week. It was completed on Friday with period six. And I completed this with period four today. And today is January 13th. So I'm going to do this one in a separate video. So now you should be able to do this assignment. And I cross off, make sure you pause the video and write these down at the bottom of page 30. 30, page 330. It's gonna be a long day. All right, so I'll make the January 8th video um, soon. Okay.